Hey guys, what's up? I'm Carissa. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a stocking stuffer video. Nobody asked for it, but I'm gonna give it to you. I'm going to link as many things as I can below. I have an Amazon shop that you can click below that will have most of these items. It also is a gift guide in general that has over 100 baby or toddler gift ideas. If you guys are new, I have a almost three-year-old. She'll be three in March, and then I have a 15-month-old. I had to sneak into my daughter's room in the dark, not wake her up to get some of these out of her room, so definitely like that video for nothing else but that. My mom used to send my sister and I out when we were little and we were in charge of pretty much finding the stocking stuffers for everyone in our family so I feel like a little bit of a pro. So you've come to the right place. I have all of the insider tips. So these will range from things for infant all the way up to kind of the toddler three-year-old age. First thing I got was a classic just M&M candy canes. I'm gonna hang them on their stockings. I'm really excited about these. These are little snack cups from Skip Hop. The lids open and close and they have to reach in there and grab the snacks and they kind of hook on things. Narwhal and a giraffe. This was a stocking stuffer for Emerson last year. It's a wooden cheese, it's a lacing game. It's so great, Charlie's just starting to get into it. The stick is a little mouse. For Charlie, I got her these matching shoes from Cat and Jack. They were $6.99 on sale at Target. And along with these, oh, matching because Emerson has them as well. So Charlie's just starting to walk, so I grabbed her another pair in these blue little star colors. Her feet are a little smaller than Emerson's were, so she doesn't have any shoes that actually fit her right now. I'll try and go in like infant order first, infant to older, now that I've already gone into the video. Sorry. Next up, I couldn't find all these, but I searched in the dark for the little stackables from Ikea. They're only a couple bucks at Ikea, but they also have them on Amazon in a lot of different places. I can't recommend these more. The girls use these for everything. They've been a favorite for both of the girls. We've had them for a couple years now. They look the exact same. They're great for like stacking in a tower. Sometimes the girls pretend that they're bulls. Except for Char, I got these little winter booties. It's so cold downstairs in our house and she likes to rip her socks off. So I'm hoping these will maybe stay on more. An infant classic, in my opinion, is just teething items in general. One of my favorite teethers is this banana teether. It's like a toothbrush thing. It's great if you're getting into brushing their teeth, but also is great for like little baby gums that are hurting because they're teething. I should mention last night, I got halfway through wrapping my stocking stuffers and I realized I hadn't made this video yet, so I stopped. So half of the presents are wrapped. Mittens, you can't, we need baby mittens. They're very similar to socks in our house. We've got one in each room and I've never been able to find a pair or a match when I need them. Um, some for both of the girls bubble bath I think is so great this lasted us half of the year last year as you can tell I got the frozen one from Target it's a huge bottle and I think it's like two or three dollars books and reading are so important in our house so I put a couple of my favorite ones in my shop on Amazon one of them being this little reindeer it's a play on the this little piggy um, toe game like this little reindeer went to the market Emerson loves this book right now and she did last year as well Emerson's really into princesses right now I picked up this set of baby princess books she loves them, but Charlie ended up loving them as well because they're great for little baby hands. She loves to flip through these. These are great stocking stuffers, I think, for any age. Um, you could get a set of them and kind of stuff them in the stockings. I went ahead and got Charlie a set of the Christmas version ones. I think that they'll still be um, fun for her next year. If you have not been, Target dollar section, you can find probably a full stocking worth of things. Grab some stickers a 10 foot roll of stickers we do a lot of activities with stickers on paper i thought this will last us a little while i'm always replenishing our stickers stock in our house um, going along with that i kind of went the sensory item route the sensory bin route i ordered orbeez which are water beads you soak them in water and they are like something you can play in the kids can scoop them and you can play water toys in them. They're such a fun sensory item. There's a lot of different ideas with on Pinterest that you can do with them. Six or seven bucks on Amazon. Another favorite in our house are pom-poms. This was a stocking stuffer for Emerson last year and we have used these pom-poms every day of the year since last Christmas. Um, I went ahead and ordered these cute neutral ones for this year just to replenish our stock. Again, great for scooping. We've set up little like tubes on the wall and we drop the pom-poms down. For Charlie, one of the things I like to do is put these in a whisk and it's kind of like a practice it's a little practice for her to pull them out of the whisk using her fingers. No joke, these were the favorite present of last Christmas. Decided to get Emerson some paint. We've been doing a lot of painting recently and she doesn't have her own set of paints. We've just been getting little crafts that come with them. Washable paint um, from Target. Also get her a set of paint brushes. These I picked up at Ikea, I think $2.99. I think they're really cute. I love the size. If you're not into messy paint, 
This is one of my very favorite things that I recommend to everyone. The girls have spent so much time with these. We use them on road trips, we use them day to day, we use them if we're going somewhere where we have to sit and wait for a little while. They are Water Wows from Melissa and Doug. This is the farm one, but we've got probably six of these floating around the house. There's so many different kinds. Each one comes with a pin that you unscrew and you fill up with water. The pages look like this. And when you paint with the water pen, it reveals the image below. This is awesome because the girls love to paint. I couldn't recommend this more, like I said. These are chunky, so they're really easy for Charlie to use, but they're still a lot of fun for Emerson. And the best part is that they dry and you can use them again. So it's not like a one-time painting thing. I've linked a three-pack below on my Amazon shop. Always some Play-Doh. There's slime if you're into that. I love handmade Play-Doh. My dad made us some last year and I'm feeling that he might again this year. Another little craft that I picked up for Emerson is this uh, little train. I thought this would be fun for her to play with after. I picked this up at Michael's. Everything was 60% off. Next up is a little kid size magnifying glass. This is a wooden one from Natural Playbox. It's an Etsy shop, but she sells these on Amazon along with it, these little tongs that are so much fun. They're great for sensory, for sensory bins. Uh, Emmy likes to walk around and look at different things in the house with this. Actually, we use them a lot with the pom-poms. I forgot to show these at the beginning. So this is more of an infant thing, I would say, but obviously a book you can use for any age. These you have to try. These are the indestructible books. Two proof, rip proof, non-toxic, 100% washable. So you can throw these in the washing machine. Have a monster baby like I do. Both of my girls were monster babies. Charlie loves to eat cardboard books so she can play with them but you can't leave them with her. As you can see, you can't tear them. I really love the fruit ones because it's so colorful and I love the way that the pages look. So I got Emerson last year to put in her bin of beans that she plays with. Fish from... Target, I picked this up at Target, but they come with, it's just a bunch of little fish and crabs and they, she kind of like digs around in the rice and the beans to find them. Cozy socks, I grabbed these on Black Friday at Old Navy. I went with some Christmas ones. In here are some gingerbread ones. For babies, a wub and up was one of my favorite things. When she was into them, these were my favorite because they kind of sat on their chest so the binky didn't really fall down and they just stay there. Inside this box, I'm really excited for. This is a ballerina spinny top from Plan toys. They're sustainable toys. You gotta wind it up and pull the string. It does a little spinning top action. Um, I think they had another one that was like an alien or something. For Emerson last year, I got these nesting dolls. They are something that she really enjoys. I went with this cute little woodland creature set. This has been the most asked about, like the most asked for link on my Instagram. This little guy, this is the Poppet. We call it our waffle. Um, it is only available at Target, so I will put a separate link below for this. If you like bubble wrap, this is basically an endless bubble wrap. It's technically also a game. They've got instructions, but the girls just use it for popping. This is the best on the in the car toy. It's really durable, it's flexible. Melting snowman, this couldn't get any cooler. So it comes with all of the pieces. Ours looks a little bit like a mess right now. We've had it for at least five years. It comes with this putty and all the pieces to build up a snowman. It melts down over the course of usually like 10 minutes. If you have older kids, I think this is a great idea. Emerson loves it. Something that you can't go wrong with is snacks. My girls have a lot of favorite snacks. Pirate's Booty, um, they actually tried this when we were visiting a friend, but they got hooked on it and it's kind of expensive, so I never buy it. I bought a big pack to stay Stuff their stockings with these like one ounce bags. Another favorite we have are the crispy fruits from Crispy Green. Obviously the girls were eating this a little bit ago. They are all freeze dried fruits. I've linked them on Amazon. That's where I've purchased them. But they're awesome because they're dairy free, peanut free, tree nut free, gluten free, vegan free, no sugar added. It's just the fruit that's in there. Pretty much pick any of your favorite snacks. And then for babies, I would say puffs are a great snack to include stockings. You could go with pouches. So Charlie needed some new clothes this year and I grabbed her some leggings, a pack of these neutral leggings from H&M. I also grabbed her this sweatshirt. It's a stocking stuffer because you can just roll it up. I also got this best sister one for her. I got the girl's matching pants, those little jogger pants. So cute. Another pair of matching sweats as well. I found these little mugs and I got one for Emerson as well. They're plastic. Emmy loves drinking out of mugs in the morning and um, I I've always worried about her with my mug, so I wanted her to have her own mug. It's gonna be so fun. They're so cute too. The next is actually something that I made, and I'm still so excited about them because they turned out so cute. And these are little wooden peg people. I made our family and the girls have already loved playing with them. I have a little tutorial on how I did it over on my Instagram. And I bought all of my supplies to make this for under $10. 
so easy. It just takes a little bit of time. I actually bought more Peppy Bull to expand our collection, but you can buy a larger pack of them on Amazon. I love it because it's fun and it's personal. So for Char, I picked up these green toys little cars. Green toys are made from 100% recycled plastic. Easy peasy mats, they are suction cup mats that stick to whatever surface you're at. They're great because you could throw them in your diaper bag and use them at restaurants if you don't want to disgusting tables. They're dishwasher and microwavable safe. Oh, I totally should have mentioned. So if you like the waffle, but you have a little bit of a younger baby, an awesome, awesome similar option are the dimple. I think they're called dimple. Um, they're different things because there's different items. Fat Brain Toys makes them. We have the dimple duo and it is my favorite toy. I should have grabbed it, it's downstairs. What we have are the colors and the shape one, but they make a little keychain size one if you wanna like give it to your baby to fidget with while you're at the store. So from Fat Brain Toys, one of my favorite, this is one of our car toys, is the Hip Squigs Rattle. Another car toy is these car keys. They look like real car keys and they make the sounds of starting cars. The girls are both obsessed with car keys. Another favorite would be the Little People. So they've got Toy Story set. I saw a Frozen set as well. They've got different, obviously, large larger size toys, but just the little people themselves are really fun. A couple more random wrapper fire would be socks. Babies always need socks. Bows, we have a growing bow collection and there's so many different like cute Etsy shops that sell those. Bath toys are great stocking stuffers. I like to buy a pack of those and just kind of stack them in there. Bath bombs, a little lovey or a little stuffed animal. This is so cute and so soft. This is Charlie's little bunny. Okay guys, I think that's everything. I have feel like I have so many other ideas in my head. Um, hopefully that was helpful for you. Again, everything that I could link is linked below. If you want more ideas, you can follow me over on Instagram and I like to throw things up in my story as I find them. Like this video if you did. Subscribe to go over and watch family vlogs. Also check out my toddler gift guide, the what I'm getting my kids for Christmas. Doing 12 days of vlogmas right now. This is technically day three of it. We've got a couple videos before this and we are vlogging every day until Christmas, except for Christmas. And I'll be posting our Christmas vlog the day after Christmas. So come back for that. I love you and I'll see you soon. Bye.